Hi everyone, it's Trish from Dish Kitty Studio and welcome to my Weekly Dish 36 video. I am working in my uh, textbook art journal here and I am using my Winsor & Newton watercolor markers. Um, you can see the set uh, sitting there right off to the side. Uh, it's in a metal tin. These are really, really great markers. If you if you haven't used watercolor markers before, I, and I haven't, um, this was actually the first set I bought, so this was the first time I ever tried them was these. These are the only ones I've ever used. But they just blend so smoothly and so beautifully. So you can see I'm, I'm just kind of going through uh, and doing this flower with my uh, markers and then I start to add water and you can just see how beautifully it blends together. It, it, it just, it, it, I'm always amazed with these uh, markers when I use them I, and honestly I don't use them very often which is a shame uh, but I really love them and they, they happen to work really really well in this particular art journal because these pages are um, they're not porous at all. They're so actually somewhat uh, glossy. And, you know, most of the time to get uh, any kind of paint or, you know, some t whatever type of um, media I want to use, I, I need to put a at least a light coat of gesso on the pages so that they'll um, stick and, and, you know, so that the material will, will stick to the paper. But these work so great on that glossy paper just as is, so there's no need for any kind of gesso or any sort of coat of anything. Um, so I'm just kind of going back in and doing a little bit of shading, and then I decided I wanted those... Um, circular shapes to really pop. So I went back in with the, the darkest navy blue there and just kind of redid those and uh, added a little bit of shading. And I really, I end up being really happy with the way that this, uh, this page turns out. Um, I think it's very, I think the colors are nice. Um, overall, I'm happy with it. So um, I'm just still continuing to kind of tweak it a little bit and then I'm adding water. Um, and then I end up doing this uh, really, really cool background that's kind of a mix of uh, watercolor. And you'll see that here in just the next couple of minutes. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm back here and 
I am actually working on some stickers. Um, these are some stickers that I got from work. Um, they were, if you're familiar with like the Zebra label printers, um, they're some of those stickers. They're about somewhere in the neighborhood of about two and a half inches by two and a half inches or so. They're, um, they're just about square. They might be two inches by two and a half. Um, but again, I have the same problem here with these that I do with my, um, the pages in my art journal and the, they're very glossy. So I do go over the stickers first with, um, like a light coat of gesso mixed with water just so that I can get some media to stay on them. And I sketched out this girl with my ink tense pencils and then I added a little bit of water. Um, and now I'm just uh, doing watercolor on her hair and it, you can see I'm putting a little bit of salt on there just to give the hair a little bit of texture um, as that salt will kind of, you know, uh, it sort of absorbs some of the pigment. So I'm just kind of going over those lines that I did with the ink tents and um, just kind of giving her face a little bit of definition. These are really fun to do. Um, I like doing these little stickers a lot. It's kind of fun to just do like a really small format um, kind of piece of art. And I actually made these for a friend of mine. Her name is Amy. Um, I think she watches some of my videos. So Amy, if you're out there watching, I hope you liked these stickers. Um, so I'm going to work on this one and then um, I do another one. And that's it for this week. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop some music in. And I hope you enjoy it and I hope that you have a great week. I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks.